We've previously talked about American robins on this show, so now it's time to give European robins their time to shine. These two birds share a name, but they aren't closely related. This is probably pretty obvious, but American robins are from America, while European robins are from… well, actually they're from a few places. European robins live throughout Europe, as well as western parts of Asia and northern parts of Africa. These birds generally prefer habitats with vegetation and open areas, so places like forest edges and open woodlands attract them. They also enjoy man-made places like gardens, parks, and even backyards. These birds are most commonly seen enjoying a meal on the ground. This can be a problem, and we'll come back to why that is in just a bit. European robins eat earthworms, insects, seeds, and fruit. European robins are also known as red breasts for their, well, red breasts. The males and females both look the same, but young European robins don't have that iconic red color. Juvenile European robins come in a mottled golden brown that fades as they get older. The breeding season for these birds may begin as early as January during mild winters, but March is the typical start time. European robins that live far north may migrate south, but many individuals stay put year-round. They also sing year-round, which is likely part of why they're such a common image on Christmas cards. Both sexes of European robins sing. They're highly territorial and sing to demarc their territories. During the winter, males and females have separate territories, which they will aggressively defend from intruders. During the breeding season, however, the males allow the females onto their territories. The European robin breeding season can last until late June. The female builds the nest in a concealed place. Natural places like bushes, in ivy, under tree roots may all suffice, but they'll also build nests in other places, such as the inside of a boot, a pocket, or a tea kettle. The female will lay four to six eggs, one per day, and incubate them for about two weeks. The male doesn't incubate the eggs, but he will bring the female food during this time. American robin eggs are bright blue, but European robin eggs are white or only slightly blue. The chicks leave the nest about two weeks after hatching, but will continue to be fed. It's usually the male who keeps up feeding duties, because the female is already off preparing another nest for a new brood. European robins typically produce at least two broods per year, but may have three or even four broods during really prolific years. The oldest known European robin was more than 11 years old, but they average only two years of life. One common fatality to these birds is snowfall. Because European robins get a lot of their food from the ground, snowfall can hinder their ability to collect food. The cold also makes them use more energy to stay warm. If they can't find enough food to replace that lost energy, they'll perish. Though European robins aren't all that big, averaging 8-inch wingspans and half an ounce in weight, they still need to eat enough to stay warm through the winter. The good news, however, is their populations are increasing. For more facts on European robins, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Mad Hatter for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.